हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप एवरीवन फाइन टूडे सो स्टूडेंट्स बी हैप्पी एट होम एंड लेट्स वी लर्न नाउ अवर स्टैंडर्ड फोर सब्जेक्ट इवेस वन लेसन नंबर फाइव वॉटर फॉर एवरी हाउस होल्ड The water for every household. Today we are going to learn. So as you know, students, importance of the water. Previous we learn the water is the most important part in our life. Water is our life. Every living things need water, or we need water various purpose. For many purpose we need water, like farming, industry, lines in uh, drinking, washing. Bath things means many purpose we need water. So students, let's start our lesson. Now see the students. Uh, you know many purpose we need water. So can you take the picture below? Show some the containers used for the storing water at home. See these types of these kinds of containers in. we can see in our house so which of these have come into use more recently now which one you can use for recently so you can say like this earthen pot uh, filter the tank and that steel tank like this also we can see recently the filter steel tank and the bigger overhead tanks this one bigger overhead tanks water are some of containers which are used for storing water now days means recently we use this or containers for storing water then see students then what materials are used to make this different containers so the other pots uh, other pots one with the uh, tap other the without the tap and the both made from the earthen that clay this earthen pots made with the clay then the filter maybe with the made with the plastic this tank tank also big tank bigger tank also made with the plastics and this the container it is a bronze so the previous past time the people are using like this pots now also in somebody's houses we can see like this pots like this containers like it's made made of the brass or copper so it is a copper brass and copper container also used for the storing water so students we need water all times we have to water house so that we can get it when we need it so earlier brass and copper pots as well as the earthen pots were used for store water but now we use the steel or plastic tanks also to store the water so the and make a different containers for storing waters so the care of the waters the e to ensure water change we must have the safe drinking water if we consume the container water it can cause disease that is why we take a special care of water to store for drinking and cooking so if we not take care of that drinking or cooking waters then maybe we will cause the disease so we should take care of the our drinking water we keep the drinking water continuous covered this prevent dust and the other rubbish from entering the water if we dip our hands in the water to take it out the dirt on our hands can enter in the 
water. So we use the dipper to take the water out. Otherwise, we replace the lid at once. So students, but the best method of the taking the water is have a tap on the content. Either this way it becomes easier to take the water. And it also prevents that contamination. When the water in a container is the finish, we wash the container well before filling it. Then we use take such care drinking water remains clean. So remember that students, we need water for for various purpose and drinking water and cooking water we should keep. Properly and we should take care of the water. So we keep the drinking water continuous cover. So students, do you know water does not become stale? Some people believe that the previous days drinking water must be thrown away and fresh water stored every day because of the previous day water becomes stale. So, but this misconception, throwing away the water amounts to wasting the good water. It should be used drinking water for other purposes. Only if it gets dirty day due to some reason. So, students, try this. Here given some activity to you. Do this under the adult supervision. Take a plastic bottle, cut off its upper narrow portion, make four small holes for four sides of the water near the base and cut the spent ball base refills into the four pieces. Fix it the piece into each of the four holes tightly. Next page. Fill the water with the water. What do you see? Water flow from the four Tubes. What does this tell us? Using the pipes can distribute the water store in one place to several different places at the same time. So, large cement or plastic tanks are installed on the roofs or big buildings. Water from these tanks can be piped to kitchen, bathroom, toilet. In these buildings, when taps are fitted. On the pipes, water can be taken for shut off the according to the name. And this is how water from just one tank can be obtained at the several places in buildings at the same time. See the students here shown the water tanks that overhead the water tanks. And the water tanks is here but here join the pipes. So with the help of the pipes, then we can they provide the water to water where wherever they want. Means they water build a overhead build waters, overhead tanks are on the buildings. Then they send the waters by pipe. The when the tanks filled on the pipes, water can be taken. Shut off according to the name. Means like this, they provide the waters. So students, water supply for the human settlement. See the students, the next page, page number thirty-one. The water supply for a human settlement, lakes, rivers, rivers are four sources of. Are our source of water, and the main source of water is, as you know, rain. Rain is the main source of water, and the lakes, rivers are the our sources of water. They are often the long distance from our houses. It is the difficult to collect the water from such a distant places. Besides, we cannot be sure that the water can be used as it is the drinking. So that is why a large water source is the identify the near settlements water from it is the brought through large pipes to the common place. Then the water is made safe for drinking. 
This is called the puration of water. Arrangement of are made to the distribute water all over the town or city. This is called distribution of water. So, see students, the next point is there water tanks at the height. We know that water flows downwards, but if we want to lift the water upwards, we have to use the some force. To do that, we need to use a machines. Machines use the for lifting water and they call the pumps. Pumps run on the diesel or electricity. So before electricity was discovered, it was the not possible to raise the water to every great height. But the electric pipe can help us to do. So hence water can be filled in the tank at the height and the supply from there to towns and the cities. See students, the next page is there. Such tanks are used to store the water and release the water puration plant. According to the need, water is relaxed from these tanks through big pipes. So, big, these pipes branches out into the many smaller pipes which lead the water to different areas around the large water tank in the particular area. The pipe branches out into smaller and smaller pipes which take water to every house. So, in some places there are two or three common taps. For the whole area, people living in the area come there to feed water for their families. So, here so students see, he has given some one picture for us, the journey of water from source to house. So, see here, see, we can see here source of water for the settlements. Here one uh, river is there. So, here the pipe joint and water fluoration center is there. Here the water is pure, then water will come here, then here water supply in here ahead, then here one tank is there, the water is storage in the tank and then from that tanks the water supply in buildings and here in the shops, here and industry as well. Like this here given the generate of the water from source so, to house. So, do you know students, human beings cannot live without water. Hence, it is necessary to have a source of water as close as possible to where we live. That is why the older day cities grew on the bank of big rivers. There are many such cities in our country. Delhi is the capital of country. It is situated by the river Yamuna in the north India. Patna on the bank of the Ganga and Bihar and Nashik in Maharashtra on the bank of the Godavari are other examples of each in sense cities. The next page, every even today in some places water is drawn from the beds or bore wells for use at home but it is need to Ensure that the water eats potable. Yesterday we learned the means potable water means the safe for drinking water. So if it is not, then it is should be boiled for the purpose for drinking. So that it is will the endangers our health. In some places water is supplied by the transporting it by the means of tankers. Sometimes we can see here given the picture. Here water provided by tankers and uh, some areas that well is there, the people taking water from the wells. But we can, uh, cannot say this water is uh, pure for our drinking. So uh, it is if it is water is not potable, it is not safe for drinking. So we have to boil this water then we can drink. So students, here given for one activity to you, try this, take an empty bucket, lift it, get an idea of the way, now half fill it with the water and see how much heavier it becomes. It must be quite hard chore 
carry the bucket full of water from the place over to another. Don't you agree? Remember how much water you need in your house. Now you can understand how much work is done to fill the much water. See the students. Now next page is there. Many people are injured in the work to water the purations. Many people are engaged. Sorry, many people are engaged in the work to water pur purifications, storage and the distribution, electricity or diesel are used to run the machines for this purpose. A lot of the money is spent for this work. Hence, potable water provides to be an experienced substance. So we must take care of water just as take care of our other valuables. We must not allow to store tap water to be wasted or become the contaminated. What can we do use water without the wastage? If the water you have taken in work to wash your face is left over, will you throw it away or keep it to use later? You can use it later. You can throw this water to your plants as well. So, while you brush your teeth, do you keep the tap running or turn it off in between? So, what is the answer? If while brushing teeth, you turn it off your tap. Don't keep the tap running. Then do you throw away the water, use the washing, vegetable, fruits, etc. Or do water your plants with it? So, we can use the, this water to our, for our plants. Don't throw the water. Don't waste the water. When the rinsing things under the tap, do you turn it on fully of the judge enough? When the rinsing things under the tap, do you turn it on fully? Do we have to turn it and then we use. So, students, here this our lesson water for every household. So here what what things we learn today that we will repeat again. See the students. The first we learn the storage of water. So the we continuously need water. So we store water in our homes. The you know, different type uh, the uh, containers we can use for storing the water like a. Uh, all the metals, pots are there like steel, copper, brass, and the uh, tanks are there. It made of the plastic, you know. Then care of the drinking water. Second point we see care of the drinking water. So in order, in order to maintain our the maintain our health and the good hygiene, we must have safe drinking water. So the proper way to store the Water. Keeping the water continuous, cover with well, uh, fitted lid, and using a long dipper to take out the water, to have tied the container, washing the containers well before refilling them again. Then we see the supply of water. The water is stored at one place can be supplied in several places by proper distributions. With the help of the pipes, the water from the tanks is the supply to kitchens, toilets and bathrooms of the different houses. These tanks are made either the cement or plastic. The, there are the tanks fitted onto the pipes. This make people use to water according to their needs. The water for the human satellites we need. Next topic we learn. The source of water are the lakes the rivers, etc. From here water the brought near human satellites through the canals and the pipes. So, see the students, the next we learn about the water tanks at the height. When we want the lift, the water from the house, 
from the lower level and upper level we need the force for this force pumps running or electricity diesels are used water fill the tanks which are the built at the height they are also called water towers from here the water is supplied different parts of the towns and cities the water pure in the water pureation plant is the store store the such water tower as per the need people water is a relay for some time for these tanks so in some places there may be two or three common steps in an area where people can be come and fetch the water to their needs some pit place people draw water from wells and borewell such water should be boiled before use it is not pure right pure and may cause health problem so students next our topic we learn the water is valuable so water is pureation storage and distribution are process the required the lots of money the electricity and diesel also used to run the machines for all the above the process therefore we should know the potable water is ex expensive substance so that we must take care of our valuable resource we must should not waste the contents the water using second we learn topic we learn the using water without wastage the should not be throw away water should not allow to tax leaking or running or water we see the water uh, we see the water fruits can be used and gardening and do not turn at the tap fully so like this we learn this our lesson water for every household and how we use the water how the water pureation and which water are useful for our drinking this topic we learn today so here our lesson number 5 over so students read the lesson carefully and try to understand the lesson students as you know everywhere corona is there so you 